we have the coveted Last Dab Triple X Edition from Hot Ones. You can pick up this bottle of hot sauce at heatonus.com if you so desire, but I will warn you, it's not an easy sauce. <sighs> That's barely nothing, but. Oh gosh. Wow. I barely got anything on my finger. If you don't know much about this hot sauce, um, this is one of the hottest sauces you can find. <clears throat> it is called the Triple X Edition because it is, it is made with, uh, with three X peppers, namely Pepper X, Chocolate Pepper X, and Peach Pepper X. Don't let the names of those peppers fool you. Um, you might be like, oh, chocolate and peach pepper X, that's nice. No, these are death peppers. They're made by Ed Curry. <clears throat> I usually have this diluted with something. So just having a little bit like that is not something I normally do. When it comes to heat, <sighs> um, first of all, <clears throat> this is a 10. This is a 10. Uh, I've never had anything quite hotter than this. It's a burn that lasts. It is a intense sauce. And these peppers, these three X peppers that they put in here do not mess around. It is vicious. It is vicious heat. It is extremely painful. Um, it's incredible though. I mean, this, this, you know, I'm obviously in pain, but this, this sauce, Taste-wise, it's the easiest five stars out of five. I, I will probably ever give a hot sauce of this magnitude. The taste is just beautiful. It is complex, it's layered, it is absolutely delicious. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're like, wow, this is incredible. Obviously, the pain comes right after that and it is excruciating. However, the taste is incredible. When it comes to the consistency or texture of this, you're looking at something very chunky. Um, there's big pepper bites, big pieces of pepper in here. Combined with the vinegar, you're looking at a very thick sauce. Sometimes it'll get clumped up at the, at the top. So you'll have to maybe like grab a toothpick and kind of like clear it out a little bit. Always make sure you shake it though. Even though it's a really chunky texture, it's super versatile because of the flavor profile that's going on here. Granted, maybe some of the extreme spice might turn some people off from using it with certain things. But if you do like some kind of spice, you can just use a pinch of something and dilute it with whatever you're eating. I've used this not only on chicken wings, but I've used it with sandwiches, burgers. I've used it in other sauces. I've used it with uh, ramen. You can honestly use this sauce for like anything goes probably will go well with pasta probably you can use the sauce with kind of anything I've even used this with some eggs in the morning I'll just add a little pinch just put it in there mix it in with the eggs and it kind of just brings it alive just enough to kind of bring in a little bit of a spice but not too much that it's just overpowering and you're you know starting off your day with too much spice Health-wise, it's completely natural. Um, the ingredients list is very minimal. There's no official tags I can give this other than it is just completely natural. I think it is also gluten-free, I believe. But it's a completely natural sauce um, and it is just spectacular. There is a reason why it's really expensive and it's because of not only the extreme heat, but the flavor profile is just unreal. It's so good and delicious and it's like, it's so good that I want to keep eating more, but it, the, you know, the spice and the pain is so much that I can't. It's a really exciting hot sauce. I've been looking forward to reviewing this for some time. And I mean, Heatonist really takes care of their sauces. They know how to make, they know how to make some of the best sauces you've ever had in your life. So if you are interested in this, you can check it out. 
It is not for the faint of heart. Remember, this is an extreme heat, but it is delicious and absolutely fantastic. I'm curious as to what you think of it. Do you think it's spicy for you? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.